Hello, welcome back. If you are using the verb to change for everything, um, there is something wrong here. Um, yes, I know that sometimes people think that you can use the verb change for so many different situations and you can. However, when you talk about living in a place and suddenly living somewhere else, you don't change to Miami, you move to Miami. You don't change to your new apartment, you move to your new apartment every single time, okay? And also, if you're thinking that you go to a shop and you buy a nice dress if you're a girl and, you know, you come home and it doesn't fit, it's too big, um, you need to go back to the shop and you need to change it? No, 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 it's wrong. You need to exchange it because you will give the dress back to the shop and they will then give another dress to you in a smaller size. So it's exchange, you give and you take. So to change is, for example, I'm going to change my plans for next year. So I have one plan, I'm going to change, you know, there is going to be something changing there. However, when you're moving, you're not changing, you're moving somewhere. When you are giving and receiving, you're not changing, you are exchanging. If I send you an email and you reply to my email, that means we exchanged emails, okay? It's a very simple thing, but when, depending on your first language, like my first language is Portuguese, so in Portuguese we just, well, generally speaking, we use just one verb for these three different scenarios in English, and that can be really confusing. So if that's your situation too, then I think this video was very useful. If you believe so too, remember, click on like, leave a comment, share with your friends, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.